All right, so here we have the customer's speedometer here, and you'll notice the needles are off. Reason this happens is during shipping, if the box is kicked or there's a sharp impact to this, um, these are going to be thrown off. And for some reason, Audi changed the design of the, the cluster in 2001, and I'll show you what the problem is. No matter where, first of all, these need to be set at zero. So when we calibrate this after the repair, that's, that's where it sits. Okay, this one's a little off. Obviously, we need to adjust that later, but you get the idea. So, even with this on or off, there is nothing stopping this needle from moving out of calibration. Most clusters, like this one, you can see it stops. It doesn't go any farther. Most clusters have some type of physical stop inside the, the motor that doesn't allow this to happen. So, I mean, this is just literally finger moving the needle and once this gets out of calibration it's, it's over you gotta move it back to zero and like I said on earlier ones like 2000's um, it would be okay if this moves up because when you power it on it resets to zero but unfortunately even on the newer the 2001 up they don't come back down to zero with what they should do and 99% of every other cluster out there when you power it on if they're in a, a clockwise position like that even the temp and fuel will come back they come right back to zero on their own these don't so when we set these this is basically how we ship it we've changed our box and our packing material so hopefully no matter how the the box is treated it'll still get there like this but literally like if the box was thrown and this was dropped your needles are out of calibration just like that and that's just me tapping the cluster so you know you'd have to recalibrate them again so I'll show you again I mean just a, a gentle tap and they're done they're already out of calibration you can keep doing it and <laughs> it just gets worse and you power it on when you plug it in your car, they're not at zero. So you're mad. And understandably so, because we're mad that um, our shipping companies throw our boxes like footballs. So what we've done now is we've used larger boxes for these specific clusters. We've used packing peanuts and bubble wrap instead of um, newspaper fill. It just gives it more padding and lets it absorb more shock. Um, and sometimes uh, we've tried shipping them upright, like as they're installed in a vehicle versus down. And, you know, if a box is tipped the wrong way, it really doesn't matter which way it's in there. It just needs to be able to absorb um, the shock. And, you know, that's, it's, that's how easy it is for these to move because there's just nothing holding them at zero. And, you know, if we would tape them or something at zero, you, the customer would still have to take the lens off and then, you know, deal with these and that again. So it's just an unfortunate design by Audi after 2001 to 2006 that they they do this and they don't come back down to zero because we could easily set these, calibrate these at zero and move them here. And, you know, when you plug in the cluster, it would come back down to zero on its own. And 2000, the model year 2000 does that. But 2001 up, they changed it. So that's how it is. So we'll get this calibrated and sent back to the customer. But hopefully this provide a little insight on what exactly happens after we ship these out to the customers. Now here you'll be able to see some of our testing procedures to ensure the gauges are completely accurate. Just how they are when they come out of the factory. So we have different options that we can do to ensure the motors work correctly, they're in the right locations um, when they get shipped out. And this is how we you know, set them initially after we take the whole cluster apart and then put it back together. So this way we know 
everything is exactly where it should be. And here are just some other functions that we use to test, you know, different lighting, uh, make sure the speaker works, the displays are all working correctly. Um, you know, we, we don't um, just guess on where these things should be. We actually have a process and hardware and software to ensure that it is exactly where it needs to be. So this cluster is ready to ship out, and um, that's it. Thanks for watching.